Okay, so many of us actually feel nausea or headaches or even eye strain while using our smartphones. Now, it could be because of two reasons. One is higher brightness in the night and the second one is actually if you lower down the brightness, which means we are stuck in both ways. Now, the high brightness on phones can usually contribute to headaches mostly because of the blue light emissions. The blue light has short wavelength and high energy which can be more stressful to our eyes to process in prolonged exposure, means for the longer time you are using it in the night. Now, this can lead to the symptoms like eye strain, headaches, or disrupted sleep patterns. But the second point is what is more interesting. Now, it also applies to only few of us, about 10% of the human population according to some surveys. But that doesn't mean you are safe. Maybe you are not sensitive, but you will become sensitive. It is called PWM. Now, it is a technique used in phones displays to control the brightness in OLED panels. It involves rapidly turning the screen's pixels on and off at a specific frequency, creating that illusion of different brightness levels. And the width of this on and off cycles determines the perceived brightness. And it's mostly visible or effective at lower brightness levels depending on the manufacturer. Now, the PWM which is not mostly noticeable, but it is bothersome to most people who are sensitive to that. And if you're not sensitive, using the phone at lower brightness with lower PWM can make you become PWM sensitive. Now, this flickering can cause also the same kind of things like nausea, headaches, eye strain, and, and even other discomforts, more specifically at lower frequencies like below 200 Hz or even 500 Hz. Now, you might be thinking how that actually affects. Well, the reason is very simple. This on and off cycles of the pixels can impair the retina's ability to react and force the muscles in the eyes to work harder. That's why it leads to fatigue. But if the frequency is much higher, then it is not as much visible or sometimes not even noticeable at all. Now, PWM is also different from the typical high refresh rate of modern phones. Don't confuse them. But the refresh rate actually refers to the maximum speed at which all the pixels can update per second means how many times per second the pixels are able to draw a new image. That's the high refresh rate. Now, PWM and refresh rate, the high refresh rate are not directly related, but they can actually affect each other somewhat. For example, if the PWM frequency is too low, it can limit the maximum refresh rate that can be achieved because the pixels need to stay on and off for a longer time. Conversely, if the refresh rate is high, too high, it can reduce the PWM frequency because the pixels need to change faster. Therefore, a balance between PWM and refresh rate is needed to achieve for optimal smoothness and comfort. Now, for example, the iPhone 15 Plus is estimated at 480 Hz. Now, this phone costs $899, where this is a $350 phone, the Nothing Phone 2A, had much better PWM frequency, 2160 Hz. So this is not about the expensive displays having better PWM. It's about the company wants to do it or not. But also recently, companies started talking about the PWM frequencies of their displays. So I think they are somewhat caring about it. But then you might be thinking, well, the S22 Ultra also has bad PWM. So then why it is not that effective? Well, the reason is very simple. First and foremost thing, it has high refresh rate that reduces that. And the second point is that the how the brightness slider works in it. So I have tested it out with the 60 Hz and I found out that at below 15%, there is massive PWM effect. Higher brightnesses like 30, 35%, which is something that we mostly use on our phones, it doesn't have that effect. But the iPhone 15 Plus, on the other hand, even at 35% brightness, like below 50% brightness, it has massive PWM effect. Because the brightness slider is very, very linear in terms of how it adjusts the brightness. That's why it does affect me a lot. And on top of that, it is only 60 Hz. So what are the immediate solutions we have? So you have only a few ways to stop the effect somewhat. So you can turn on the dark mode because the PWM affects a lot when you have white screen on the OLED panels, mostly. So if you are using the phone normally day-to-day -day life, then having dark mode on is the best solution. Also, you can increase the size of the icons or even the font inside the display settings so that you don't have to look at the display as much to find something. And the second on the iPhone, you can turn on the reduced white point in the display setting inside the accessibility settings and set it to max, either 90 or 100.
On the Android phone, there is also a button called Extra Dim option in, inside the Visibility Enhancement settings inside the Accessibility settings. So in that specific scenario, the visible brightness will be down by a lot, but the actual brightness of the phone in the brightest slider will still need it to be at the max. Like you no know, max just means it has to be on 100%. It can be close to 70 or 100. But because of these accessibility settings, it will actually reduce the screen brightness, the visible one. And doing all these things actually has reduced the PWM effect on me almost to like 95% even when I'm using the iPhone in the night, which has really bad PWM effect on me. Now, what's the trade-off? Well, the trade-off is actually the battery life, if you don't know. Because if you keep the brightness higher, even though you're using a kind of a gray filter on top, because you're keeping the brightness at the highest, it will consume a lot of battery, and it, will, it might even heat up the phone quite a bit in certain situations. And if you go outside, then you have to disable the extra dim option in the Android and reduce white point, in the iPhone. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to see anything outside. So that's the trade-off I can see at this point. I hope this video helps you understand what is PWM and how it does affect and what is the difference between PWM and refresh rate, the high refresh rate. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yes, if you feel like you need some really cool wallpapers for your devices, whether it's a tablet or a smartphone or even a laptop, well, I have some crazy cool 8K wallpapers, stunning designs, and amazing colors. Visit my website, jointhevit.com, link down below. And until the next one, bye and take care.